<laughs> Alana Very likes it. neat. So now the picture is much clearer as we go into the presentation. And the students all know that they are not allowed to play until they read. So that's kind of the reward for reading. And if they don't read, then they don't have the opportunity to play. And I don't have to repeat myself 500 times with all the lessons. Jim's got to stand up. <laughs> and they just, Jim? I'm clapping. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> So yeah, we don't, I, that's why I'm doing like 100 small little, cause what happens is I have to do these and then I have to go back and then tape the whole thing again, but this saves you and all you it have to do. It was Sparky's first day on the job. He is the fire station pup. So Michael, you would read. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give Sparky the first aid kit. No, no, no. You read the top before you oh, go. <laughs> Teacher reads the bottom. Right. It was Sparky's first day on the job. He is the fire station pup. Oh, you'd be a great reader. We got to have you doing some of these. And now <laughs> you can and the, you can give Sparky the first aid kit now. Oh, no I've, way. Oh, how cool is that? So you can actually drag it over. That is awesome. Yeah. Well, it doesn't usually go there. Most of the kids put it on his head. They put oh, it right. around the body. They oh, never well, put then, it where there. it belongs. Yeah. Well, then there we go. Yeah. And then I'll <laughs> ask them why. And this is why it engages them so much because then I start asking them, why did you put that there? Why is it flying? Yeah. And they'll come up with all these little stories. Um, yeah. Everybody wanted to leave the school on fire because they didn't want to go back to school. Yeah. <laughs> that was today's. Yeah. And then. I had a little boy trying to say responsibility. He oh. wanted seven to nine. I told him it's okay. He said, no, I want to read this age. And he could not say responsibility oh. at all. So the okay. same thing goes here. Got it. One responsibility is Sparky needs to keep the fire station clean. He picks up the ax and helmet. Okay, so put the fire ax and helmet on the shelf. Okay, so pick up the ax. I'll put that there because that's clearly the shelf. And put the fire hat helmet up here. There we go. And that's awesome. exactly what they did. And I yeah. said, you hurt Sparky. Why did you hurt <laughs> Sparky with an ax? Oh, oh, right. I don't want to hurt Sparky. <laughs> so I go, oops. And I will move Sparky or the ax, not Sparky, over to the shelf. And if they um, leave it on the floor, I tell them I'll fall on, I'll fall on the floor. Please. Yeah. If there's an ax on the floor, your teacher is going to get hurt. And as yeah. the teacher, all you have to do is just use the right arrow. And if the reading is too much for them, like where it's long and you have children that can't hear two lines at a time, today I discovered that you can just click. Oh, no. Stop. Have them say, oh, no. Click. A kitten got stuck up the tree. Stop. Let them read that line. Click. Sparky helps the firefighter save the kitten. I didn't know who he saved. Um, <laughs> save, and I'm like, so that way it's easier. And I just figured that out today. I was playing with the student. Well, I'm always playing with them. Um, so, and then it's really good because there's so many words here that they're, my, they're not there. Like I asked them, like, as they're dragging that over, I'm like, what is that? And they're all, because I added these words this week, they're all like, louder. I'm like, yay! Wonderful, and it's great for those learners that are a little overwhelmed by, you know, a lot, a lot. It's not this is not a lot of text, but by more text than maybe what they're comfortable with, and giving them that audio option of hearing a small, you know, a small portion of it is wonderful. Great, great initiative. And also, I was thinking, um, I learned foreign languages, and how do we learn foreign languages? We take the sticky notes and we put the word on everything. So that's when I decided that I'll just add words to some of the vocabulary within yeah. the story. That way they can kind of have an idea as they're moving around. Excellent. All right. So for page here, this next page. Oh, no, a kitten got stuck up the tree. Sparky helps the firefighter save the kitten. So let's see what we can do here to save the kitten. So we drag the ladder to the tree. That's exactly what they did. Sparky then, doesn't, he's not the firefighter. Go and we move firefighter. Up. There we go. And can we move the cat down mm -hmm. or the kitten down as well? Yeah, okay. yeah, you can. All right. So we'll move the kitten down 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, that's okay. There we go. So the kitten is grateful and happy and the firefighter is there and Sparky is watching this all play out. Yes. There we go. And this is the place where they said they, that they'd leave it on fire. They didn't want the water. I had more than one student tell me today they want the school to be left on fire. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. And did, you, did they say why? I mean, other than they don't want to go school. back to school. They don't want to go back to school. Um, oh. You didn't choose the days of summer, and the long days of summer have school bags at the end, and they threw the school bags off the page. And I said to her, why did you do that? She goes, I'm not going back to school. Oh, geez. she had to go back. Yeah. And this was a student that hated to read. Now she oh. wants to read because she can play on the page. <laughs> oh, for sure. Well, it's so interactive. And I mean, it, and all the different elements you can touch and play and move around. It can, it can really add a lot of fun and engagement to, to reading the story. And plus, like you said, you have the audio, the visual, it's hitting on uh, the tactile. It's hitting all those different pieces too. Uh, so, oh no, there is a fire in the school. The firefighter puts the fire hose on the hydrant. Okay, so there we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm back. Got to get the hose. Oh, can I take the hose? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. And, the, and if they would hit on hydrant, it would also, it does say hydrant. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Fire hose and hydrant. Awesome. And it was so cute. The little girl couldn't remember the name and she went asking her foreign parents and they came Aww. up with fire plug. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. So the next one here is this house is ablaze. The firefighters fight very hard to put the fire out, move the firefighters to put out the fire. So with the houses, do, do the students want those, the fire to go up to be uh, taken care of yes, here? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, good. definitely. The house good, is good, fine. Good. Just school. No. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Okay. We've got the firefighters taking out the fire. This is really neat. Okay, more firefighters are battling the fire inside. The flames and smoke fill the room. Help the firefighters put out the fire. So do we just, I guess, is it really just moving them around to different spots and they can go where the fire is and just take it out? Yes, definitely. And then over there on the smoke, it shows where the, the smoke is and the, because then I asked them, where are the flames? Because that's another word for fire. Yeah. Where is the smoke? And then they go in and they, they can just touch it and then they'll yeah. find it. If I don't tell them, they're going to look for it themselves. It's almost like a hidden egg somewhere in the picture that they have to look for themselves. Yeah. Um, also... Um, this artist that I'm starting to use, her name's Musia, and I love her art because it represents all races and all ethnicities. It's not only one color, and it's this is what all kids see because I see yeah. I see kids from around the world, all races, all colors. So just to see an artist that's really brought this to the forefront, and mm -hmm. she loves me. She keeps yeah. <laughs> just keeps sending me, and I'm like, oh, yeah. shopping, shopping. Yeah. So all of this is commercial art. So I, I'm involving a lot of the commercial art, either the subscription one that I pay for or um, buying clips for each story. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, let's see here. So we have... And gifts, of course. Gifts yeah. I can't get away from. No. <laughs> a kitten calls for help from the window. It is stuck above the fire and needs to be rescued. I love how you got the cat even moving like that. That's really like help help like that's help. How, that, that, that's called giffy anybody that knows giffy knows where to find these <laughs> and you can pull can you pull the kitten out of the window mm -hmm. let's see here oh there and, you go. and they also discover what a pup is when i when i go through it what does pup mean because it's short for puppy and it you just lost sparky oh no <laughs> Oh, sometimes Whoops. if you, if yeah. you get, I have to be careful because I didn't mean I, to lose Sparky. <laughs> he fell, he fell off the building. <laughs> Poor Sparky. Well, oh. he's got a helmet. He'll be fine. It's a Friday, Brenda. It's a Friday. Sparky's uh, okay. If the, if Sparky, if something yeah. gets behind the white elements, sometimes the, okay. the art gets frozen. Like they, they can't move it anymore. They get <laughs> stuck. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. All right. The car caught fire in front of the house. They work as a team to quickly put it out. So, okay. So we have the extinguishers here, the fire extinguishers, the firefighter is there and can move to that spot there and help take it out. And very good. Okay. And then he's stuck frozen. 
<laughs> yeah. Now this one is cute. You move the axe and they think they're cutting the tree. Oh yeah. 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 Let's see here. But I just animated oh. it to, to a little distance so that the tree came falling after a little while by timing. Okay. Like you tell students that, Hey, why don't you try using the axe as soon as they come on screen? And then they're like, Oh, they thought they cut the tree. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so cool. The forest fire rages on. It is very hot. Even some trees have caught on fire. So we take the ax, help them cut down the tree. That's that's great. And, and then I know. also ask them, why is there a fire in this forest? And they'll look through the picture and they can see the campfire. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what happened? And then they know that the camper left the fire. So when they leave the fire, this is what can happen. So they're yeah. actually taught about safety. So I'm trying to keep these as realistic as possible. I like the cartoon element, but also to keep it a little realistic. And we had construction workers last week and all the girls wanted to be construction workers because the tools were pink. <laughs> so I can't oh wait gosh. when their parents are like, what? You're not going to be a doctor or a lawyer? No, I'm going to be a construction worker, dad. <laughs> uh, be whatever makes you happy. This fire is too dangerous for firefighters. The small plane pours water all over the fire. Do I get to move the small plane, Brenda? Oh, of course. Oh, and Rockstar. you have to go zoom, zoom, zoom. zoom. That's a combination of two yeah. gifts. I, I used the water okay. from one and the yeah. plane from the other. And I just thought that was the cutest plane because it says fly and it, it's actually oh, yeah. like a bird. <laughs> Oh, I love the permagrin as well and the big eyes. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. great for kids. Kids will love that. All right, that's awesome. And then uh, let's see here. So the day is coming to an end. The fire truck slowly rolls down the street. Oh, sorry, that's not slow. That was that was quite abrupt. <laughs> most of them don't, most of them have it in the air somewhere too. They love oh. flying trucks. Oh yeah, why that's not, why I right? like to leave that one floating because they yeah. all the kids love the machinery flying. A hover fire truck is all good. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, okay. And kudos to Sparky keeping up with all the fire trucks and things moving so fast. Sparky's like first day of work. It. This is the first day. Mm. Oh, total rock star. Sparky enjoys sitting on the chair. A firefighter left their helmet on the ground, so let's put the helmet inside the closet. So there we go. It's a helmet. So do 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 kids like throw it down the? <laughs> like, they all put it in the closet. I was okay, very they... proud of them. Oh, They're good. Very organized okay. by the end of the story. Oops. All right, let's put that in there properly. Oh. There we go. Awesome. And then our last page, I believe, is the firehouse is a mess. It needs to be organized. So we got to name everything and put it away. All right. So we have the fire extinguisher, which goes with the extinguishers. Not floating. <laughs> All right, we got the hose. Oh, there we go. The axe. The ladder. And you can move the ladder as well. That's so cool. And the first aid kit. And the hat would go. The helmet, the hat. The helmet would go up here. Great. It can be either or. Um, and, um, was I going to tell you the, okay, we still have a couple more. That's not the end. It's not just the story because we have to make sure that reading isn't just reading. It's reading with a purpose. You'll mm -hmm. soon see the two purposes. All right, let's go for it. I'm trying to see if there's any questions I'd be, uh, it'll be really funny if I can ever find it. Okay, can you can you write your name on the badge as well? Yeah. Oh, welcome to Genially. Let me slide you guys over. I'll show you. Oh, I'll this hold is on awesome. one moment. Yeah. All throughout the whole thing, you could have been writing, but most oh, of the kids well. are so engaged. <laughs> See the little pencil right up here? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. built in, so it's different than Zoom. So Zoom, we have to give them, once you give them the remote, they just grab which one they want, and then they can just write their name on the badge. So you can write your name on the badge. You earned a badge. And then you oh, snap sweet. a picture and send it to mom and dad. Oh, there we go. So cute. I'm just like going to get my name inside that badge. I'm totally trying to squeeze it. And it's going to fit. It's going to fit. 
and bam. And then, you know, all right, cool. Yep. And then they just take a snapshot. Yeah. Well, the teacher would. Oh, oh. whoops. <laughs> you got to stop the pen, just like I, any of I the annotation I know, tools. I <laughs> All Otherwise, right. you'll have that, but we have that there to yeah. remember now every time we put the pen on, or we can just go, oops, sorry, what happened to your badge? Oh. Now, here's where we come into the part of the story where we're trying to base to see what the interactivity is and what their knowledge level is. This takes tic-tac-toe to a different realm. This is called the uh, interactive Sparky the Fire Pop tic-tac-toe they're going to be able to identify but if you see that little eye up here i read the directions to the students each one of us get to choose a character and at each turn we get to take a piece which is your character after mm -hmm. you answer the question correctly so this is one really thing really good thing about the genially they have some of the games and then you can really get them to be even more interactive where they just don't get to move and play tic-tac-toe they have to answer a comprehensive question. And because these are not the four to six year olds, they're not just gonna identify what the word is. They're gonna have to identify it and use it in a sentence. The okay. higher level is gonna have to identify, spell and use in a sentence. Very cool. Uh, you get to choose a character. Which one do you wanna be? I'll be Sparky. Okay, remember this is tic-tac-toe. Are you good at it? I'll bring it on, let's go. <laughs> Okay, Sparky, gentleman <laughs> first. I'm going to be like, gentleman first. Okay. I'm going to see where you go up. Oh, you got to hit the one first. Oh, you hit the one first, right? And then you put the spot. Okay. No, you got to answer the question. Identify and use this word in a sentence. Um, I have not worn a red firefighter helmet before. There we go. So Sparky, we go to number one. Okay. Okay, your turn. Well, if you oh. let go, Sparky, <laughs> <laughs> like let go, Sparky. Okay, identify and use this word in a sentence. The fire hose or firefighter could be both. So, the firefighter was holding the fire hose, fighting the fire. And I have to admit, someone. Okay, your turn. Uh, I'm going. <laughs> Okay, so um, I, or sorry, uh, firefighters will often wear uh, at, at least one badge when on, while on duty. I can say I lost already. How am I gonna do this? I can try to block you from here. Oh, I gotta hit it here. Oh, wow. This is a oh. hard one. Identify and use this word in a sentence. This fire pup is really cute. Okay. So we'll go to number eight here. Okay. So this firefighter is waving to us after they put out the fire. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Sparky. <laughs> Slap Sparky. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a game, Brenda. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and if they get it wrong, if I call that like a fire hose, which mm -hmm. a lot of the kids have. Oh, look at the fire hose. It's so cool. Oh, sorry. Sparky goes in your spot. You can just make it even more fun. The other kid can, you know, you get it wrong on purpose and then you get to give the kid yeah. their spot. So for guarantee, they're going to win. They always beat me. Even in memory, I, I let them beat me all the time. And where, oh, where will I go? Okay, so if we go to number Oh two. boy, Sparky, you have a couple places you can go. I know. Okay, identify and use this word in a sentence. Um, this car thingamajig is cool. What do I do then? Oh. Ah, uh, so sorry. Do you want to try again? Um, sure. This red car thingamajig is looking really great. 
Okay. Well, I had somebody do this. They did get stuck. They called it the red car today. And okay. I said, is that the red car, the red plane, the red yeah. bus? The I just gave them every mode of transportation. Yeah. And then I put truck at the very end. Okay. The red fire truck uh, is zooming down the street. Dun, da, da, da. I wish I had, I got to put something here that could clap or something for them. And up, oh, hold on one moment. And I, I hold on one moment before we leave. Then, of course, you have to go tic-tac-toe. Oh, yeah, with the to... annotate, right. Yeah, you got to show it. Prove oh. that you won. <laughs> like kids, you've got to prove that you won. Room. <laughs> with go. the noises. And uh, we could click the tool again. And then the next one is also, so this was comprehension. And then mm -hmm. this becomes your science and technology is where they can actually design a fire scene. And then they're going to tell you the story while you type the story. And this way their parents can see what they come up with. And every single child has been able to reuse the, the vocabulary that they've learned in, in the story. By, by this point, they've yeah. been able to use them. Cool, that's fantastic. So enjoy. I thought they were scared. I actually was showing my husband this going, do you think this is too scary to show kids <laughs> with all the fires everywhere? Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, but you know what? Every, everybody's saved at the end and, you know, there's some good, you know, some good learning going, going on and comprehension and safety and yeah. So that is for you to design and draw your own That's story. That's awesome. So there, there's like four houses, different sizes, two fire trucks. Uh, then they have the the water. They and then the, the kid today, like it was so funny. He went like this, doo, 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 and they all did this, which I thought was fantastic. Yeah. And then they went like this. They had nowhere else to put the fire helmet. The fire helmet went on top of the hydrant. And then this here is if you, you have any extra time left, you can do more free drawing. They can draw their favorite character. And then all of the stories come with, uh, these are called instant downloads. So when you click it, it won't, won't do this on your computer, Michael, because it's yeah. mine, but it'll download. You don't have to worry about save. It's just going to go straight into download. And then this will go straight into download. And doesn't matter if you're students in China, America, they can just have a free copy of the story. And so far, only one student has chosen the PDF. Because I tell them this is their prize. What mm -hmm. do they want? The video or the story? And one child chose the story. Yeah. And then came the next week. The teacher swallowed this. The teacher swallowed that. that she knew the whole story. And so this is Wonderful. the library. Thanks. And I see there's one question that did come in. I really like the sticky notes. Which... Sticky notes from the, the other curriculum? Alana? I, I meant the labels, the names on the items. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm the one them. that said sticky notes. Yeah. I said, I, I really got the like those. It just notes. reinforces. All right. I'll go back and add them, but only <laughs> to the ones that, you know, that we've recently done. Cause, you know, genially, I just discovered it like a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. So all the stories are like genially now that are coming out. Perfect. And the ones before were more just, animated motion stories and uh so there is somebody here that does use the library so alana how do you like it do you like the animated ones from before i think you said the shark one is one of your favorites <laughs> and technology i've got problems unmuting and muting that's pretty bad it's been so much fun to to play and learn. And I think, um, you know, myself and I know a lot of other tutors are really going to benefit from this library.